Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. Each week on the show during our Farm Basics time, we try to talk about something that we do as farmers and relate it to you if you are a non-farmer. Well, this week, our question is, why do farmers rotate crops? All right, so when we talk about crop rotation in some parts of the country, farmers are only gonna get one crop per year. We're talking about, well, rotation means this year I do this crop, next year I do something different. But in other parts of the country, they're going to get at least two crops per season. So it may be starting off with wheat and coming back with soybeans, for example. So crop rotation could be within a year or it could be from year to year. One of the things that we'll often talk about when switching up crops, in other words, what crop do I raise first? What do I raise next? It's I wanna raise a grass crop, then I wanna raise a broadleaf crop. So for example, corn, and wheat, they're just grass plants. What they have is a lot different for diseases, for insects that impact them, just a, a lot of different things compared to the broadleaf crops like soybeans, for example, or sunflowers. So when you can rotate a grass crop with a broadleaf crop, that really helps break up the disease cycle, the insect cycle, even weeds are a little bit different in the different crops sometimes. You also put different root systems in the ground. So some crops like corn have just massive root systems. Others like soybeans have kind of a small root system. And by changing things up just a little bit, you could potentially break up a little bit of compaction or access nutrients in different parts of the soil that the previous crop may not have gotten to. One of the other reasons why a lot of farmers will consider rotating crops is they want to raise multiple crops on the farm just to spread risk. You never know what's going to happen, what each year is going to bring. So like on our farm, we like having corn and soybeans and alfalfa and even a few oats out there. So it is kind of good because in any given year, boy, the alfalfa market might be great. Soybean markets down or vice versa. Well, the other thing about that with diversification is it changes up your harvest dates. So for example, with alfalfa, you're harvesting once a month, roughly. With soybeans and corn, you're harvesting once per year. And depending on your planting dates, you may set it up so the soybeans get harvested in September and the corn gets harvested in October or something like that. So many farmers will plant different crops to spread out that workload throughout the season. Well, anyway, there are a lot of different reasons why a farmer may consider rotating crops. There are certainly are some farmers too that will do what we would call continuous crops. They raise nothing but one crop year after year, season after season, but a lot of different things impact this. Ultimately though, what farmers are trying to do is do a great job for the land, the environment, and also for the pocketbook. If you don't farm and make any money, well, pretty soon you are not going to farm in the future. So we always have to look at the economics and that plays a major role in how a farmer is going to rotate crops. Well, crop rotation is really important and it can certainly help you when it comes to stopping our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 